Creating oysters in the heart of Atlantic City. Do you ever wonder where all of those shells end up? It's not a landfill. Uh, <laughs> I, I was yes. waiting. I was waiting for the ball. I was building. I was <laughs> like, it was the pregnant pause okay. was to get you really like sucked in. It works. CBS Philadelphia South Jersey reporter Brandon Golden shows you where those discarded shells end up. <laughs> We're starting a trip down the Nakoti Creek, which flows into the Mullica River, where, as a steady stream of greenhead horse flies and the occasional military plane fly above us, we reach our final destination, this barge symbolizing the beginning of a new chapter for these oyster shells. Many of which were discarded by Deborah Pellegrino's oyster loving customers at the Borgata Hotel and Casino's restaurants. It's really important to give back, uh, not just to the community, but to the sea as well. By returning these oyster shells back to where fishers first scooped them up. This is the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection's shell recycling program. Fisheries biologist Scott Stuber says oysters need a hard base like these shells to survive. And without enough shells, they can die. By recycling these shells instead of throwing them away, Stuber says it can keep New Jersey's oyster population thriving. So these are juvenile oysters all over a uh, previously recycled oyster shell. So you can see that's one single shell with countless oysters all over it, and same thing here. DEP is expecting to recycle more than 200 tons of shells just this year, and it recently received federal funding to expand its efforts. Pellegrino says as long as customers continue to eat oysters, she'll continue to recycle their shells. We respect food that we bring in. We know where it comes from. And where it'll come back, into the depths of the Mullica River. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia.